Hey guys, we are back with part two. So the time is actually now basically an hour after I start the last video, which is uh, it's now ten to five. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why. I know some YouTubers go over an hour, they can do an hour and a half. I just like to stick to that hour mark at most. So back at the cast. There's actually two lots because I spotted some that he'd put up today that I decided to get. And apparently he's put a load in this little box as freebies. So we're gonna have a look at that first. Yeah, remember that. <laughs> right. <clears throat> so I don't actually know what extras he's put in it. Oh, I can see a hot wheels in it. Um, that I actually bought separately. It's a corgi um Metro Turbo. Now I've got the plain blue one and I've got the red data post one. I'd actually forgotten they did this version until I saw it. I thought I quite like that. It's in very nice condition. So I got the Metro Turbo. <clears throat> yeah, I can't actually remember what was in here. Got another one of these. I've actually got one in my duplicates box, but it's missing the uh, door. I can't remember if I've actually got one with the door now. Although, I haven't said that, my other one's got a ruined top, so I may actually swap it. <clears throat> what have we got? Weird Hot Wheels car. Is it a fantasy one? Brit Speed, so it's based on an old British car then, I'm guessing. Sort of reminds me of the old sort of 1920s, 30s racing cars. That's what that reminds me of. Don't know. I might keep that one. That might end up in the uh, duplicates box. Or the car boot box. Ooh. I don't have this one. That's actually quite nice. What is it? I might have to go and find my magnifying glass. I am going to have to go find my magnifying glass because I can't see. One moment. Right, I found it. So, what is this truck? Now that I can actually see what it is. Subaru. Yep, a Subaru Brat. Didn't even know they did a pickup truck. Oh, nice. Matchbox Corvette. That's another Hot Wheels. I've got to remember, I've got to have the front pointing that way for it to be up the right way. One of those really annoying shiny bases, and I can't read anything on it. No, that's just Mattel copyright, I think. No, it's a Jeep of some description. <laughs> it's too shiny, I can't read it. It's not as shiny as this one, so I'll get swapped. That looks like a Corvette. I don't think I've got it, I can't remember. Which is stupid as I've literally just gone through all of my Hot Wheels. No, it doesn't actually say what it is, but that does look like a, uh, a vet to me. 60s Corvette, done up in race colours and whatnot. Ah, this one might be a duplicate. In fact, I know it is. It's a Corgi a Triumph, isn't it? No, it's a Fiat X19. And I think I do have one in these colours, so that'll get compared. But I think that one is actually in better condition than the one I've got on the shelf. What's this? 
That's another one of them funky fantasy cars from Hot Wheels from the looks of it. Are you? Formula 8R. Oh, it might not be then. It might not be. Unless it's something I made up. What's that? That's a Camaro. Go straight in the Hot Wheels box, the Hot Wheels. Ah. A very clean Audi Quattro from Matchbox. A lot cleaner than my other red one. In fact, I think I've got two red ones through there. Uh, this is one of their fan oh, fancy ones. A CCM Country Club Muscle. It looks... Like maybe a Dodge Challenger or a Chevy Camaro from the side there. Same with the tail lights. It might be a cross between a couple of cars. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, got a double. We've got another one of these. So I know where that can go. <laughs> I've got these two of them. What's this? It's plastic. With a metal chassis. Maximum leeway. You know, a lot of people hate the fantasy cars, you know, the ones that Hot Wheels have made up. Well, I do like some of them, and I think that is quite a nice one. Nah, I don't want this one. This one is a another fantasy one. Prototype H24. Don't really like that one anyway. Actually, those fancy ones will go in the box for the car boot. These might end up on the car boot next year anyway. And this looks like a slightly older Hot Wheels. Going by that base, it's certainly not an ultra-modern one. Made in China, this one. Twin Mill. I think just because it is an older one, I will keep that one. One. Dual fueler. I actually quite like that one. I need to see if I can get some tubs from QDs tomorrow because I'm going to want one to put all my um, fantasy ones in that I want to keep. That's the Jester. This one's made in Thailand. I think I've got one like this in different colours. I think I've still got it. Right, okay, so there's another... Oh, yeah, he, these are all the ones he put in for free, by the way. They're not the ones I actually went over to collect. They're the vintage ba uh, matchbox. Batch mocks, even, is what I was going to say. <laughs> this is the last Hot Wheels. I'm going by the base. This is another older one. I mean, you would put the um, thing on the wrong way up. DC, copyright DCC Dodge Concept Car. Oh. It's not in the best of conditions, but that's a definite keeper. Yeah, so all of those are actually the free ones that you threw in the top. What I went for, originally, are these. So, I got that. Little uh, dragline excavator. What else have we got? That one will go in my duplicates box because I have actually got one over there on this display. The green. You can go straight in the duplicates box. 
In fact, I've got two over there because I've got one with the red weight and one with the yellow weight. Oh my god, delivery truck. Does that just say what this one is? A lot of these um, early smaller ones, I find they don't actually say what they are on the base. It might on this one because there's a lot more room. What's an Albion Chieftain? I don't know, it's got sacks of something on the back. Sacks of spuds, sandbags, coal. Who knows? I suppose you could just use your own imagination and it can be whatever you want it to be. Oh, Another two of these. I don't think these have got any value to them though. I've actually got one that's in a lot nicer condition. This one's lost its wheels as well. That one might go in my scrap collection just because. <laughs> but that one's complete. That would actually make my third complete one, I think. So, yeah, or maybe I could just. I don't know. I don't need the axles or anything for the others, so. Nah, I'll get rid of that. I'll keep that one. Because fire truck, and I like fire trucks. Right. Now, this one, Coca Cola truck, is actually in way better condition than the one I've got on display over there, so I'll be swapping these. Although, I don't mind keeping duplicates, mainly because I like to restore these older ones. And I want to really get into restoring these older ones, you know, taking off these wheels and giving them a proper repaint and whatnot. So, I will keep them both. What else we got? It's a Rolls Royce. Ooh. Yellow paint on the bottom. I don't have this one. Rolls Royce Silver Cloud. Wouldn't be too difficult to restore that. I mean, I don't see a need to take the wheels off. That one does need a clean up because it's got blue, so I don't think this was blue originally. Because Matchbox wouldn't have had paint on the wheels. In fact, I can see some yellow or something coming through the paint there. And is that... Just put that actually landed on its wheels as well. Yeah, there's some yellow under there. So maybe... Although, having said that, there's some yellow on the wheels as well as blue. Maybe this has been painted a couple of times. Um, so yeah, I could just clean the wheels up in situ where they are on the chassis. I'll just have to drill the rivets to get the chassis off. But it shouldn't be too difficult to strip that paint off and repaint it. Nice blue. Again, when I do these, and what I've done with the other ones I've already done, I've not actually done it for two years now. Um, I just go for a colour that's close enough. Because I'm just happy with that. <laughs> if it's close enough, it's good enough. Right. Ah. It's a husky. My one's got the busted plow on the front and the paintwork's not as nice as this one, so I'm really glad that is in there. Uh, now is that a corgi? Ah, I thought it was when I looked at the photo. It's a majorette, front loader. I do like my older majorettes as well. I ain't got that many more in the box. Another sight hut truck. I've actually got two up on the shelf already with um, replica sight huts on, they're not the originals, they're just um, some repros I bought on eBay, so if that can go in the cell pile. Oh that's a shame, it's got a wheel missing. Sand and gravel supplies, it's a steam lorry. But yeah it's got the wheel missing on this side, I don't know who made it, I'll have a look in a second. Uh, it's right up in there. I'm going to see that. That could be a Lesney because it's got Made in England written on it. But if anyone.
can confirm for me, I'd be a, um, it would be much appreciated. I won't spit my words out. It's such a shame it's got a wheel missing. What else have we got? Another bulldozer. I've actually got one of these. But I wouldn't mind um, trying to get some replacement tracks for them. Oh. Oh. I didn't know that was in there. A Wolseley 680 police car. Now I've got two more of these, but they are in shit condition. They really are rough. In fact, I think one of them is missing the light things off the roof, and neither of them have the police stickers. This has got both police stickers. So I'm actually pretty pleased to find that one in there as well. Right, we've got three more. We've got another one of these scout car things. I think I've already got that one. Actually, I'm pretty certain I've got that one. I just want to check to see um, which one is the best or in the best condition. And why is there a peg or something sticking out there? What does that do? It's got to be sticking out of there for a reason. It does look to be in better condition than my other one, but I'm only going from memory. Oh, I'm pretty pleased to find this one in there as well. What was that, Pontiac? Yep, Pontiac GP Sports Coupe. I have got one of these. There's just one problem with it. It doesn't have a roof. At all. <laughs> it's all been snapped off. But it has the wheels and doors, if I remember correctly, so... It's actually nice to have a, a complete undamaged one there, apart from the paintwork. But the doors... They're a bit tricky, but they do still open. And one more. I've already got one of these. Which uh, my stepdad did the restoration on, but I'll keep this one as it is. So I've got one as original. It hasn't got stripes on the plough either. I might see the sticker residue from where they were, I think. Or it could be a white paint splodge, I'm not sure. But that is it for the box. I was going to throw it like that, but I thought, you know what? I might want to put these back in. <laughs> so I don't actually chuck them on the floor. The box has got a funny smell to it. I smelt it before. But I just can't put my finger on what it is. It's not a bad, bad smell. Uh, cigarette smoke, maybe? I don't think the guy smokes though. I'm pretty certain he doesn't smoke. That one I've got to check as well, haven't I? And that one. And that one. And before I get rid of this box, just so I put it in here out the way, I've got some brand new Hot Wheels here as well. I got yesterday, so I've got a 32 Ford hot rod. The uh, Ford Mustang funny car, so it's not a Mustang for me box. And we have got a Nissan. Honda Civic. Oh. Audi Quattro in blue. And finally, a Mark I Ford Escort. These, along with the RS2000 that they, Hot Wheels have just released, and the Ford Sierra RS Cosworth, are an absolute pain to find. I don't know if it's just because they're sought after, or if their scalpers getting them, or what it is, but they're hard to find. Actually, it's probably a mix of both, to be honest. Right the bag next. The bag has got larger models in. Right, so 
So that was a freebie. I just threw that in with everything. Um, I don't even know who it's made. Oh, it's Barago, Alancia Stratos. Ooh. I've got the little Hot Wheels version, but I haven't got a... Well, I didn't have <laughs> this scale. I can't remember what the scale is, does it say? Is it a one? It's a 124. So that's not least. I have got my second one of these. There's one on display. This one is actually making my other one look mint. I'm not kidding. My other one's not perfect. I'll show you that actually because it's only just over. Ow, that's my thumb. I'm just here. So like I said, it's not perfect, but it's not in bad condition. And it's got the tailgate. <laughs> but in comparison, hmm, again, spare tyres. It's got all um, six tyres on it. And the hydraulic bits are actually pretty good on that. Ideal resto project, so... I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one. I could just keep it for spares in case I decide to restore the, the um, one I just put on the shelf or just put it on eBay. Yeah, my second one of these. But there is a reason I actually bought this one. Because sometimes these manufacturers, they make subtle differences. So you've got to watch for them. Now, when I saw this the other week, other week in his garage, when we were in there, I didn't think much of it. I thought, yeah, I've already got one of those with that, uh, those stickers and everything on it. What I didn't notice was the fact that this one that I got off him today has blue flashing lights. My one has got the red ones. The downside to this one is it is missing a hook, but I'm sure I could probably find a a tatty one somewhere that I can steal a hook from for that because it is in pretty nice condition apart from that and apart from that string wasn't wrapped around properly but it has been tied on there so it won't uh, flap around I have actually got a third one of those as well but that is in real poor condition Right, what have we got? Ooh, another one of these. That's my second track loader that I've got. I think it looks the same as my other one anyway. Right. An Avis for Transit Mark One with a very stiff sliding front door damaged windscreen but this door is still there but the rear door or doors I'm not sure if I had the big pull up one or the twin doors that's all missing but other than that everything else is in good condition it's got good tyres on it Be nice to keep for um, some spare bits. Maybe I could find another one that needs a sliding door. I can pinch off of this. <clears throat> right, anywho, what else have we got? A Corgi Ford Thames cam um, camper, which needs three tyres. These Corgis are dreadful for losing them. And I think one of the reasons is... As I said earlier, they go dry, they get brittle, they crack, and then they fall off. So, yeah, I need to find some for that one. Is that a corgi? Oh, it is a corgi. This must be a very early corgi looking at that. I don't know what it is. What is it? it looks like a Jaguar, maybe? Might have to clean it. Oh no, it's Austin Healy. It's missing the windscreen bit, unfortunately. 
Maar die andere bosjes gaan we eens kort kijken. Got a funny feeling someone's done a custom. Yeah, they have done a custom paint job. That is actually meant to be a Corgi Hillman Imp police car. I have got one of these. Minus the blue beacon. Well, mine's got the blue beacon. I think it's rattling around inside. <laughs> uh, but yeah, someone has done a bit of a custom job on this one. Probably because the blue beacon went missing. Uh, but they haven't taken it apart. And I've got a bit of blue paint on the chassis, which is a dead giveaway. This has been painted. And the fact that uh, the indicators have been painted in, which isn't original. I don't think Corgi painted in the tail lights either. But I have to say, in a civilian colour like this, I actually quite like it. So, this may end up in my uh, to do list to repaint in a civilian colour and perhaps fill in that hole on the roof and turn it into a proper little civilian Hillman imp. Next, we have, I do believe I've actually got a version of this, but my other one has actually got a, a black roof to simulate a vinyl roof. That doesn't look like um, it's been painted on either. Ford Capri 2, so that's a Mark 2. The other one, I think, might be a Mark 1. I'm going to have to check it. Yeah. All right. I've got another Corgi here, which is missing all four tyres. Little uh, zebra striped Land Rover. Corgi toys, Land Rover. Broken tail here, uh, toe hitch there. Never mind. Plain red dinky Bedford CF van. I think this is meant to be another Royal Mail one like my other one, but it's lost the stickers, so it's just a plain red Bedford van now. Perhaps I could do a custom build with this. I could stick a blue light on the roof and put fire down the sides. Have a custom Wee Woo or a Nino. It'd be an email with that age, wouldn't it? <laughs> right. Oh! I saw this and I thought, yeah, I've already got that. But one, this is a different colour to my other one. And two, this has got the later wheels on it. So this is actually a later version of my other one. Took them long enough to say hi. I must have sent the message about two hours ago. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right then. I haven't got two of the same. I thought that's a duplicate. Uh, we got another crane. I don't know if I've got this one. Something's a bit uh, off with it because the wheels aren't sitting right, are they? I don't know that the headlights don't sit right enough. I've got another one there. Is this a, a guy or something? Is that a guy? It's a Scammel. Scammel mobile crackers. I've got another one there with the removable tyres. Yeah, the other one is the same, it's just the older version with the uh, removable tyre, so that's the later version of it. And it's got the hook, which is surprising because they always break off. I'm sure that's what us boys did when we were kids, you know, we would just break things off like this. I don't think hydraulics would make that noise. <laughs> Uh, I think what has happened, I think this has got bent a little bit because them lights are meant to be part of the fixing, they're meant to go in the 
front of the cab there and I'm not quite going in there but it doesn't I always thought the wheels were shoved back but on this side they're actually fine if I turn this around those wheels have gone that way gone backwards so oh, ah yeah I can see it the wheels are loose that one's actually jammed or it was I've just loosened it off really what I need to do then is just drill that rivet pop this off sort these wheels out and just stick it back on guess what I'm going to be doing tomorrow because I don't really I don't think that needs restoration I think that's perfectly fine as it is personally as it is complete so I will do that I'm carrying out a repair now I don't know if I've got this exact trailer and set up but I know I do have to be honest I can't even remember if I've got this tractor <laughs> I can't remember what's in the box now, but I've got trailers like this. And I've got a blue one, but I can't remember if my other one is red. But yeah, it's just a, a container truck. Just put it up the right way and not upside down, and it might actually go on the pegs. It was that one that's on the piss. Oh. There we go. I can't remember if my other one is red, but I might have these in yellow. In fact, I know I've got these in yellow. I just don't know if the stickers on the side are exactly the same. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look. Either way, I want to keep it because I do like trucks. I haven't actually got many or much in general in the way of king size stuff. There's still quite a few king size models that I actually want to get. So I might make a point of it in the new year. These back wheels are sitting squiffy as well. Why? Why are you sitting on the on the hut, as we would say in Norfolk? Ah. I might be able to see why right there. There we go. That's better. These two wheels got pushed too far on the axle and jammed up on the the um, plastic suspension there. That's all that was. That should, yeah, there we go, it's sitting level now. Sweet. Oh, I can't remember if I actually showed you these yet or not, but I got these from that guy around the corner as well. Um, so my other ones or at least the trailers are now going to be put in my uh, duplicates box because these two are in way better condition than the other tanker trailers I've got in fact I've got another two of these Texaco ones and both of them have got either this broken or damaged or missing and this on one of them this back bit is actually missing as well not, not missing broken So, yeah, I'm going to keep these two. Um, I think that is it, guys. So that's taken us about half an hour to get through that lot. Ooh. I've got a bit of sorting out to do, especially uh, before I get my dinner, because I'm getting hungry now. And I can't decide what I want. Uh, right, so, on that note, I'm going to leave the, leave the video here, so thanks a lot for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed it, and, um, a two-parter, so uh, if you did, give me a thumbs up, if you didn't, give me a thumbs down, comments and questions in the comments below as well, um, as I always do, unless I forget. <laughs> um, I haven't done yet, but there's a first time for everything. I will leave links to both my other channels, the gaming channel and the Lego channel, and the Discord server in the um, description box below the video. 
and uh, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video so uh, see you later <laughs>